Hey, it's Geeky here, and today I am trying out something new with a new backdrop, and today I am reviewing Transformers Universe Leo Prime. As you can see, he has done up pretty much in Optimus Prime's colours. He is blue, red, with some silver and grey, and some pinkish highlights to highlight some certain details like here and here on his arm, and then some around his, the face here. As well, it's a nice little Autobot symbol on his forehead. The button the here, that's actually a button in the original version, which is Leo Breaker from Cybertron line. You press it and he would roar. Unfortunately, this doesn't do it. The electronics were taken out. So all you can do is open his mouth. Ew. Yeah, so that's all you can do. In Beast Mode, it's quite nice. Obviously, you can tell how he's going to transform. You can obviously tell these are his rear legs. These are his arms. Now he comes with a cyber planet key, which is useless in this mode, because if you just tug on it, they'll come out on it, look, they'll come out on their own. And yeah, he does look quite menacing with the, the claws extended. Looks more like a Wolverine than an actual Liger. Okay, to transform this guy, first you want to do is crack his back, like so, I'll just move the camera off a bit, like so, fold these panels down, remove the tail first, then try and get a handle what I can do, fold these parts around underneath, and it'll just snap into place, and the legs, fold them, or straighten them out, Fold down the heels. This is the legs done. Arms, you just want to rotate them and fiddle the hands so he's got like a natural hand. I may have to fiddle the lighting. His, the silver part of his head is really showing up bright here at the moment. Then reach into the top of the vein here. Grab and pull out. And there we have Leo Prime in robot mode. And it's basically more of the same. There's no new colours that have, that have appeared. I mean, you've got some more silver on the torso. Kind of washes the silver does kind of wash out the details on the details here, which the camera can't really show you because the light. something. Ow. Ow. That's better. That's much better that is. A little bit darker down here but I can sort that out. Yeah, articulation for this guy. You've, he's got ratchet joint shoulders. There's a in and out one here. Ratchet the elbows. There's a rotation here as well. No waist joint. Then you've got the hips. Knees, all nice and rested. And you've got kind of got some tight articulation, but not much. Now he does come with a weapon, his tail turns into a sword of some point, some type, or me or a whip. Would have been nice if it had a few segments in it so you could position it. But okay, what can you do? Okay, now, because he's moulded on the Leo Breaker, he can still do the Savage Claw mode. That was in Cybertron. It's still compatible with it. So, to do to get that into action, first thing, pop the head back in, rip his arms off at the elbows, and just compact them in, make sure keep sure the waist is attached. You come down to the feet, fold the feet, up. I like to keep the heels down, or at least one of the heels down, if I'm going to like to use it as a thumb. Then you just point, plug the claws into the feet. Let's see. I'll start the gimmick because it just helps a little bit. I also, also like to plug the tail in as well because it acts like a, th a, a third finger. So you end up with something that looks a bit like that. 
it's not perfect, but whenever, whenever, whenever was that perfect in this show to begin with? Okay, so the tail won't be showing, the tail won't be attaching. Okay, so here he is in his arm mode. I'll just bring in Cybertron Optimus. I've already tr I've already transformed him. <sighs> yeah, mine does that all the time. I think his knees have become loose. So I have to try and tighten them up, and his hips are really tight. Now I've slid the connector post to that side, so you can plug in on that side. Just slide it. So slide it that way for right arm. That way for left arm. Come on, Optimus, let's stand up. Stand up. I know you can do it. Cover yourself up, you whore. Yeah, and you just... It's a problem with these figures. And, yep, there you have him. There is... Yeah, just have to lean him up against the backdrop, because he's so weak. There is Optimus Prime and Leo Prime in their combined mode. Kind of a Primeception going on. Which is fun. It's a fun combination. It is horrifically heavy though. I mean, if you had two of them, it would balance it out. But I don't have two of them. I'm not really keen on Leo Breaker's colours or Nemesis Breaker. And I don't particularly want to get another one of them. <laughs> I think I may have to get a new Prime, he's just so weak at the moment. Yeah, I'm going to leave him standing there for a second. Now, should you get this guy, if you missed Leo Prime, not Leo Prime, sorry, Leo Breaker or Nemesis Breaker, then yes, you should. If you're a, com a Prime completionist, then yes, but otherwise, he's a, he's a bit of a miss. I only got him because I needed a... A Leo Breaker could mould so I could do the combination. But other than that, he's he's not he's all right. He's not brilliant, but he's all right. Okay, I've been Geeky Delicious. If you liked what you've seen so far, don't forget to like, comment, or subscribe. If you like the backdrop, tell me, and I will see you next time. Thank you very much.